Sister Lassier's last public interview took place on December the 26th, 1957, which she gave to a Mexican priest called Father Augustin Fuentes. After this interview, permission was refused for any other interviews and she was completely hidden away until the end of her life. We're going to show you now what Sister Lassier said in her final public interview. Father, the Blessed Virgin is very sad because no one has paid attention to her message, neither the good nor the bad. The good because they continue on the road of goodness but without paying mind to this message. The bad because of their sins do not see God's chastisement already falling on them presently. They also continue on their path of badness, ignoring the message. But Father, you must believe me that God is going to punish the world and chastise it in a tremendous way. The chastisement from heaven is imminent. The year 1960 is on us, and then what will happen? It will be very sad for everyone, and far from a happy thing if the world does not pray and do penance before then. I cannot give more details because it is still a secret. By the will of the Blessed Virgin, only the Father and the Bishop of Fatima can know the secret. Both have chosen, however, not to open it in order to not be influenced by it. This is the third part of the message of Our Lady, which still remains secret until 1960. Tell them, Father, that the Blessed Virgin said repeatedly to my cousins Francisco and Jacinta, as well to me, that many nations would disappear from the face of the earth, that Russia would be the instrument of chastisement from heaven for the whole world if the conversion of that poor nation is not obtained beforehand. Father, the devil is fighting a decisive battle against the Virgin, and as you know, what most offends God and what will gain him the greatest number of souls in the shortest time is to gain the souls consecrated to God. For this also leaves unprotected the field of laity, and the devil can more easily seize them. Also, Father, tell them that my cousins Francisco and Asinta made sacrifices because they always saw the Blessed Virgin was very sad in all her apparitions. She never smiled at us. This anguish that we saw in her, caused by offences to God and the chastisements that threaten sinners, penetrated our souls, and being children, we did not know what measures to devise except to pray and make sacrifices. For this reason, Father, it is my mission not to just tell about the material punishments that will certainly come over the earth if the world does not pray and do penance. No, my mission is to tell everyone the imminent danger we are in of losing our souls for all eternity if we remain fixed in sin. Father, we should not wait for a call to the world from Rome on the part of the Holy Father to do penance, nor should we wait for a call for penance to come from the bishops in our diocese, nor from our religious congregations. No, our Lord has often used these means, and the world has not paid heed. So now each one of us must begin to reform himself spiritually. Each one has to save not only his own soul, but also all the souls that God has placed on his pathway. Father, the Blessed Virgin did not tell me that we are in the last times of the world, but I understood this for three reasons. The first is because she told me that the devil is engaging in a battle with the Virgin, a decisive battle. It is a final battle where one party will be victorious and the other will suffer defeat. So from now on, we are either with God or we are with the devil. There is no middle ground. The second reason is because she told me, as well as my cousins, that God is giving two last remedies to the world, the Holy Rosary and the devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And being the last remedies, that is to say, they are the final ones, means that there will be no others. Our Lady of Fatima wears a sad expression. Our Lady never smiled. She was always very sad. And the third, because in the plans of the divine providence, when God is going to chastise the world, he always first exhausts all other remedies. When he sees that the world pays no attention whatsoever, then, as we say in our imperfect way of talking, with a certain fear, he presents us the last means of salvation, his blessed mother. If we despise and reject this last means, heaven will no longer pardon us because we have committed a sin that the gospel causes sin against the Holy Spirit. 
this sin consists in openly rejecting, with full knowledge and will, the salvation that is put in our hands. Also, since our Lord is a very good son, he will not permit that we offend and despise his blessed mother. We have as obvious testimony the history of different centuries where our Lord has shown us with terrible examples how he has always defended the honour of his blessed mother. Prayer and sacrifice are the two means to save the world. As for the Holy Rosary, Father, in these last times in which we are living, the Blessed Virgin has given a new efficacy to the praying of the Holy Rosary. This in such a way that there is no problem that cannot be resolved by praying the Rosary, no matter how difficult it is, be it temporal or above all, spiritual. In the spiritual life of each of us, or the lives of our families, be they our families in the world, or religious communities, or even in the lives of peoples and nations. I repeat, there is no problem as difficult as it may be that we cannot resolve at this time by praying the Holy Rosary. With the Holy Rosary, we will save ourselves, sanctify ourselves, console our Lord, and obtain the salvation of many souls. Then there is devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, our Most Holy Mother, holding her as the seat of mercy, goodness and pardon, and the sure door to enter heaven. This is the first part of the message referring to Our Lady of Fatima, and the second part, which is briefer but no less important, refers to the Holy Father.